Are you wondering how you can get more rabbits per litter whenever you breed your does? That's what we're going to discuss on today's video, so stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Redneck video. Again, my name is Chris. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about uh, how to get bigger litter size in your rabbits. I just, uh, my rabbit that was due just had babies, only had three, one of them died, so I'm down to two. So that got me thinking, I wonder if other people have these problems. And I thought I'd spend a little bit of time talking about some of the things that you can do and how I'm going to address that in my rabbitry. First things first, the uh, first thing you want to look at is what you're feeding them. So if it's a first time mom, don't panic too much about it. Give them another sh chance. A lot of times first time litters are a little bit traumatic for the rabbit, they're a little bit difficult, so don't worry about it too much if it's a first time mom. Um, but you can look at their feed. Make sure you've got a high enough protein feed. It takes a lot of protein to develop babies inside the mother rabbit. So you really need something that's around 17-18% protein at least. Um, probably not much too, high, too much higher than that either. Somewhere between 15-18% to 18 protein is going to be about right. So you look at your feed, what you're feeding your rabbits. If it's a low, low protein, then start with that, up your protein levels a little bit. Second thing you might look at is genetics. Um, do they come from a line of rabbits that is known for having small litters? Um, so if the mother had small litters and then you raise this one up and they have small litters, well, it could just be a genetic issue and that's just the way that that rabbit is. You may just have to call it from your herd and remove it. And the third thing you look at there is there could be some kind of unrelated health problem. If your doe is overweight, has been eating too much, um, as I posted a video about not overfeeding rabbits a couple of weeks ago, um, if they're eating too much, they're too much overweight, then that can inhibit the pregnancy and that can cause some issues with that. So check the health of your rabbit, make sure they're okay. It's not uncommon for a, a rabbit, if they're having some kind of problem um, with their pregnancy, to reabsorb those uh, those babies basically into their body. Um, it's not really that uncommon. It sounds kind of like a horrid thing, but basically what they do is kind of like a self-abortion, so to speak. They can't handle uh, you know, birthing those babies. They can't get them developed because of whatever reason. So they just absorb those back into their body, all those nutrients back into their body. And I'm going to apologize now if there's a lot of wind noise because it's uh, windy as can be out here today. I'm trying to kind of block myself from it a little bit, so hopefully it's not too bad. Okay, and finally, um, I did talk about my uh, in my breeding video uh, that some people will breed their rabbits uh, over the course of a couple of days and rebreed them over a couple of days. Uh, there's not really any kind of evidence to show that that really helps increase your litter size, but some people will swear by it and believe it to be true. My personal experience, as long as you get two or three good fall-offs in the first breeding attempt, I've never really found that it's necessary to add any additional um, breeding to that to, to help increase your litter size. Never had a problem with it myself, but it's something worth trying. If you do put the doe with the male, uh, you breed them, you have one fall off, you might, uh, and you know, no more, you might try again within eight hours, eight hours later. So maybe in the morning you tried, and then try again in the evening, and that could definitely help to, uh, to, to increase the litter size because, you know, as I spoke about in that video, the rabbits, um, they ovulate based on uh, the, the mating process itself. So being bred is what causes them to ovulate. So whenever they get bred, they get that one fall off. That's what's going to cause the, the female to drop some eggs. So theoretically, breeding them again eight hours later could cause her to drop more eggs and therefore increase your litter size a little bit. So those are a couple things to try out there. Uh, my doe that only had two, uh, this is her second litter in a row where she's had very small litter. The last litter she only had three. So I'm going to give her another chance. I go by a three strike rule in my rabbitry. So I'm going to give her another chance. And if she doesn't produce, then I'll remove her and I'll replace her with another breeding doe. And I'm doing this because um, she's been, I've had her for a long time. She's about two and a half, th almost three years old. So I'm not surprised if she's getting towards the end of her breeding cycle there and, and just, you know, just can't produce that much anymore. And it's time to give her a break. And I, I probably won't eat her. I'll try to find somebody that can take her as a, a pet or something like that. She's produced enough rabbits for me that uh, she deserves to, to live out her, her life if I can find somebody to take care of her for me. But I haven't changed feeds. My feed's the same. And more importantly, this doe behind me, I've bred her a couple of times and she's producing great big litters. Same buck, same feed, everything else. So I'm narrowing all that stuff out and I think it may just be old age for her. But I'm gonna give her another shot. It's been a little while since I bred her, so maybe this next shot will be a little bit different. Okay, so that about wraps up this video for you, um, answers that question hopefully a little bit. 
Um, the only update I got is that I do have babies. Again, only two, two big babies though. These guys are two days old. Let me take you over there and give you a shot of those and see how big they are already. Here we go. These are two day old baby rabbits. And uh, well, you can see, and that's a pretty good sized rabbit for only being two days old. I imagine that uh, was hard on her having these big of babies. She had three of them, but again, one didn't make it. Okay, I think that about covers this video. So thanks again for commenting. Leave me comments below. Let me know what your experiences are, what other things you'd like to have discussed in these rabbit videos. And as always, thanks for watching and God bless.